Welcome back, Aluxers. The stock market has always been volatile, and even more so during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, there are certain areas that have appreciated during these uncertain times. It's clear there's still optimism surrounding investments and stock, and many experts advise against falling into the trap of chicken little thinking. The sky is not falling, and it's not all doom and gloom, as clearly seen by the following categories included on our list today. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. We always value your input, Aluxers, so feel free to offer suggestions of other stocks that have appreciated during the pandemic. And remember what Warren Buffett said, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. And Aluxers, it's your time to show your patience. Number 1 banking never stops. Over the past few days, banking has seen an increase on the stock market. Banks are extremely sensitive to market changes, recessions, and economic downturns, and problems come in when consumers are not able to pay back their loans or fewer people are requesting loans. Several factors have played a role in banking being on the rise again, including signs the COVID-19 virus is not spreading as quickly as it is in places like New York City. Oil prices rose slightly over the past few days. Plus, there's a huge program about to be put in place by the Federal Reserve that will offer loans to SMEs with low interest rates. Banks have just avoided their worst-case scenario, and the economy may be able to get back to business sooner than anticipated. Number 2 Online gaming is at an all-time high. Being stuck indoors with nowhere to go indefinitely has meant that gamers have had the time to get back into their gaming. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates that the average U.S. worker spends 54 minutes a day commuting to work. So if there's no more commuting, there's an additional 240 hours a year to fill at home. What will people do at that time? Play video games. 65% of Americans already play video games, so that number will no doubt increase. Data usage directly connected to gaming combined a massive 75% with companies like Activision experiencing a higher engagement level during the pandemic. Here's an example of a video gaming ETF and stock that outperformed the S&P 500 lately. Van Eck Vectors Video Gaming and Esports ETF gained about 4% on March 26th and lost only 3.8% this past month. Number 3. Services and Products Make for Great Investment to use Apple as an example, we're not just speaking about the sale of phones or computers, but services and accessories have also seen these kinds of companies grow on the stock exchange. In these uncertain times, Apple managed to secure an all-time record for income and revenue, which brought in $91.8 billion and $22.2 billion, respectively. Apple has evolved in such a way that their services now bring in more revenue than their hardware. The services brought in $12.72 billion in the first quarter of 2020. Number 4. Schedule Your Online Meeting Video conferencing has taken off during the pandemic, and even though some meetings have reaped hilarious results of people forgetting to put pants on or a naked partner accidentally walking into the screen, without it, many businesses would have struggled. Zoom is the video conferencing site that crops up often, but there are other great shares that have appreciated during COVID-19. Zoom had some security issues, which they've worked hard on fixing. Other good ones to consider are Ring Central, Microsoft's Skype for Business, and Public Switch Telephone Network Conferencing, or PSTN. Number 5. Virtual Desktops and Cloud-Based Technology is on the Rise so while you're scheduling your next Zoom meeting, you're probably working remotely and trying out new systems that will better connect you with your colleagues. There are several fantastic options available for companies and businesses that allow you to share information, documents, and files easily. Cisco is one that keeps coming up during the pandemic. They're offering a free version of WebEx, which they've upgraded since COVID-19. The upgraded version offers video conferencing, file sharing, screen sharing, and interactive whiteboards for all users logged on. Support is offered through call-in audio, and the platform is easy to navigate, even for those that are not so tech-savvy. Cloud computing is also a favorable stock that's growing during the pandemic, with more people relying on remote servers to store their work while away from their regular office space. And Alexers, if you're keen to know what stocks we've been taking advantage of in these times, watch our video, 15 Stocks We Bought During the Pandemic. Number 6. Tech Stocks Could Do With A Once-Over a tech stock is any stock that's involved in the technology sector and could include anything from semiconductor producers to software providers. 
Currently, tech stocks like Adobe are on the rise. Adobe Systems Incorporated, for example, is a computer software company in California, and they originally focused on multimedia and creativity software products. Their range has grown to include digital marketing software and is most well known for Adobe Flash, Photoshop, Illustrator, Acrobat Reader, PDF, Creative Suite, and Creative Cloud. Pretty much all tech stock has shown resilience and continues to rise steadily throughout the pandemic. Number 7. Pharma Stock Will Steadily Rise We're relying heavily on our pharmaceutical companies and stocks like Lupin gained over 2%. Many pharma companies are collaborating to try and find a vaccine for COVID-19. For example, Pfizer and Biotech have come together to try and develop a vaccine that could be available before the year's end. GlaxoSmithKline and Sanofi's collaboration has been highlighted as one to watch because Sanofi are bringing their COVID-19 antigen and GlaxoSmithKline will contribute their vaccine adjuvant technology. Number 8. Social media is a hub of activity Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media portals are great investments at the moment. Facebook is part of the FANG family, an acronym for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Alphabet, and it's recently reached over 3 billion users. The increased usage is a direct result of people being stuck at home during the lockdown. Facebook shares had a dip at the beginning of the year, but they've gained a little bit of ground since then. Despite there being increased activity on the site, it's hard to monetize it all. Facebook adverts are not bringing in the same amount of money as before, but experts believe that investing in this company will have long-term benefits. As this pandemic takes its twists and turns, so does Facebook and the adverts and ways to monetize the platform will continue to grow steadily and gains will recover. Number 9. Time to spend a little online Online or e-commerce platforms have only one way to go, and that's up. Target's online sales were said to have exploded in April, and platforms like Shopify are reporting incredible gains in finances, with more and more people turning to online shopping. If you're tossed between eBay and Shopify, eBay lost ground nearer to the beginning of 2020, but are now trading flat while Shopify has managed to not only hold its ground in North America, but also internationally, making the Canadian company a great option. Online grocery shopping is another contributing factor to this steady climb. Number 10. Lions and Tigers and Bears, oh my! Netflix and other streaming services that allow you to watch whenever and whatever you want are obtaining massive gains, with Netflix having appreciated 14% in 2020. And surely only some of that is because of Tiger King. The cost of one Netflix share on the 30th of April 2020 was $422.94. With the uncertainty of when live sports will be taking place again, it's believed there'll be even more growth through 2020. And stick around for the bonus fact, Aluxers. You won't believe how high these stocks are growing. Number 11. Electronic payments are increasing. Since COVID stay homes, e-commerce has become the only way to spend or splurge. For the last remaining populace who prefer cash or check payments, they've been forced to move over to electronic payment systems. Many countries that were resisting online shopping have had no option but to sign in or ship out. This surge in sales has seen an uptick in stocks in the electronic payment market. For example, in South Africa, as the virus began to spread to the population, many people were choosing contactless payment systems over cash drawn at ATMs. Local online payment platform Ozao's CEO Thomas Pays has seen retailers rushing to get safe online payment systems in place as consumers flood their websites. Number 12. Online education is the way forward. Online learning is the way of the, well, now. Universities, schools, and colleges are closed, and public gatherings are not on the horizon, so it seems like a wise choice to choose e-learning for any future sign-ups. But in the short term, traditional education institutions are scrambling to move their curriculum onto robust e-learning platforms that can handle their class load. There's also a growing number of the global population finding themselves out of work, and many industries who won't enjoy business as usual for some time. This population of individuals are looking for upskilling opportunities and turning to online learning to help them out. Three of the main 12 for-profit education stocks are based in China and serve the Chinese market. This market has been booming for some time and was already poised to onboard large numbers before COVID hit. China Online Education is one of the hottest stocks right now. It's an online school teaching Chinese students English under the brand 51 Talk. 
In the last quarter of 2019, they posted revenue growth of 32%. Number 13. Online security is integral. Screens are fast becoming the only way to communicate with each other as COVID lockdowns affect the world. There's no indication when anything but digital gatherings for art, music, or family occasions will resume. Our lives are basically online right now and we need to employ better security. A large part of the office-bound world has been moved home to work. This means insecure home networks are now transferring sensitive corporate data and security software is a top priority. Corporate America has increased tech spending on security, aiming to protect intellectual property as well as consumer privacy as hackers continue to laud threats over them. This industry related to personal and professional online security is enjoying its heyday. Companies like Fortinet were floundering in the market, but since COVID hit, has seen a rise up in the ranks of fast-growing companies from number 98 in January to number 30 at the end of the quarter. Number 14. Renewable Energy's Time to Shine The U.S. Energy Information Administration, or EIA, predicts renewables to be the fastest growing source of electricity generation through 2050. They anticipate electricity generated from renewable energy sources in the U.S. to surpass coal and nuclear by 2021. These are only the U.S. predictions, and as the rest of the world is also embracing renewable energy, this is a strong case to stay in the clean energy race. Thankfully, no matter what country you live in, electricity production is an essential service, and upgrades and energy operations will largely be unaffected. Even more interesting to consider is that during the market lull in the industry, there's never been a better time to investigate renewable energy as coal mining and other traditional energy sources grind to a halt. Number 15. An all-around good decision Despite the pandemic, Google's parent company Alphabet has done relatively well in the first quarter of earnings. They posted a stock share price increase of around 9%, not bad amid the current global situation. But let's break it down into more detail. The first two months of the quarter, Alphabet's performance was strong, but then in March, it slowed dramatically in terms of ad revenue. Ad revenue only grew by 10.4%, however, the other earners in its bracket of offerings, like cloud computing, enjoyed 52.5% growth, while hardware, Play Store sales, and YouTube subscriptions grew by 22.5%. Alphabet is gearing up for a tough second quarter, though, as global lockdowns force the advertising industry to slow down. However, many of its home user-based products, where it enjoys a monopoly, will surely enjoy steady income as we all clamor to fill our time indoors and log on to our next favorite Alux YouTube video. And with that, my friend, we're at the end of the video. What stocks have you noticed growing during the pandemic? We welcome your thoughts and your feedback in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. The cannabis market hasn't seen the kind of returns investors were expecting, but there is one shining light that seems to be excelling in the marketplace. Innovative industrial properties serves a different part of the cannabis industry. Their business model invests in real estate rather than cultivation. They provide the premises for cannabis companies to operate from. They've acquired the experience and knowledge of the rules and regulations that growers need to follow to establish medical marijuana growing facilities across the U.S. It's a genius niche segment that traditional or general real estate companies can't compete with. With all the lockdown and prohibition rules in place, there will be a surge in demand for cannabis products, medical or not, so we doubt the industry will go up in smoke anytime soon. And that, Aluxers, is how cannabis is growing from strength to strength in stock value. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.